Hi, I'm Tim Green and um, today I'm going to be doing the sixth instalment of my repairable atomizer head-to-head -head reviews um, and the, the atomizer this time is the IATI which is a repairable atomizer with an integrated 5 milliliter tank to fold and reduce. Um, so without any further without further ado, let's let's have a look. Um, here are the main components of the IATI. I'm not going to fully disassemble it. Um, the IATI does actually break down into a lot more pieces. Um, this is because the uh, the the atomizer itself, you don't need any screwdrivers to 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 put a coil together. Um, so it has that advantage. It's unfortunately slightly negated by the fact that um, the wick and wire assembly involves the use of two different types of wire, um, a resistance and no resistance wire, um, and the wick, obviously, um, which is, it makes it a little bit more fiddly because you have to twist these two types of wire together, um, not once but twice, so you have uh, a single strand of wire there's uh, no resistance to each end, but you've got a resistance section in the middle for which to build your coil. Um, so for that reason, I mean, they, I, I have seen um, quite a few people have problems with the IATI um, for that reason, um, and for other reasons, which I, I might cover in this. Um, so it's a little bit more complicated, but... It's worthwhile just persevering if you're struggling with an IATI at the moment, um, or if you're thinking about getting one, it is worthwhile persevering. Um, main sections here anyway, you've got the mouthpiece, the, um, the cap for the tank. This is the tank body itself, um, a cone, and the atomizer assembly. Now the atomizer assembly, as you can see, you have your atomizer at the top, uh, a wick and wire arrangement. You can see the wick quite clearly. The wire runs underneath it, um, runs either side. And what you what happens is the two ends of the um, the wire, um, the two no resistance ends, actually get trapped. This whole thing unscrews, and you have one piece that's trapped in the, the, between the plastic and the metal there and another piece that's trapped between the plastic and the metal there. Now, the original wick that was supplied uh, with the IATI was quite a... it was quite a chunky uh, grade of wick, really. It was a, it's a braided wick. I'll just show you here. This is a, a braided wick, and it was quite thick. Now, that was the one that it was originally supplied with. It has since been abandoned by Emil in favour of um, the wick that's used inside a clear miser because it's thinner um, but when people were using this wick what they were doing was um, when they were um, putting on the cone and the cone sits on top of here um, when they were putting the cone on they wouldn't tighten it all the way down or they'd tighten it all the way down and then back it up a little step just to allow more liquid in there now you have your air flow through here and what would happen is that the liquid would, eat, would just run down into there and straight out the bottom, um, defeating the object that the cone was designed for. Um, and Because basically the, the cone sits on top like this. This whole assembly then sits inside the tank body and you pour your juice in um, and the wick draws it to the element. So that's... Uh, that's the atomizer assembly. This then, um, just got to clean this off a bit. I've got juice running all over the place. I quite literally just emptied this and uh, disassembled it for, for the video. Um, this then sits inside here, and you just uh, screw that up nice and tightly once I get it all lined up properly. Now I always screw this up so I can't see any of the black o-ring at the bottom. So I know there's a seal there. So 
they have you see and you see the the, the top of that cone actually comes above this here and that's because it goes into the cap through the o-ring in the middle there and it becomes airtight um, the juice I'm going to use for for this uh, review is uh, Griswold's uh, Coconut Mint Choc Chip from Vaporscape. Um, I love this juice. Um, so I'll go ahead and fill it. The tank will hold 5ml of juice. Um, and you can fill the tank all the way up to the top. I generally don't because some, I'm sometimes a bit thick fingers and thumbs screwing up see screwing and unscrewing things and 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 that can lead to spillages so I, I'll ease off you know half a mil from the top or whatever um, so I have a less likelihood of spilling mouthpiece in the top now there you have it one filled and ready to go Hayati um, it's very simple looks I mean it looks great on a number of mods um, on the cube for example it's the same diameter as the top cap of the cube so it looks really really good um, it also looks really good on the Pravari and I, I'm going to use it on the Pravari um, for this review uh, just so that I can show you the, the ohmage the, the, the resistance um, so the resistance of the atomizer at the moment that's 2.4 ohms so if I set the voltage on this to about 4.2 we should be good to go so um, let's see how it vapes anyway this is the IATI and this is what it vapes like Really nice flavour. Um, it's got good flavour on this. Nice throat hit with the with the juice. Um, if you don't like an airy draw, you're going to struggle with this. The draw is very airy. It's very light. You don't need to inhale much. You don't need to suck on it much to get to get any vapour. I mean, it's a really good atomizer. I use mine a lot. Um, <coughs> but if you don't like an airy draw, it's not going to satisfy you. I mean, if you use it on a mod like the Cube, because the Cube's got an adjustable centre pin and an adjustable throw, you can, uh, you can in effect, give yourself an adjustable airflow. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, on the Stealth... Um, it's 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 the same drawers on here. Um, you can use it on a GGTS by taking off the top cap, and by using a five ten uh, extender with uh, five ten, uh, five ten. Let's get this right. A nine oh one to five ten adapter, and then using a five ten to nine oh one rethreader you can get the level of it to such that you can have it sat flush inside um, and you can use the adjustable flow on the GGTS um, it does the dimensions aren't right on it though for me you know this is actually narrower than the GGTS I wouldn't mind too much you see, aesthetic wise, and I think aesthetics are important, um, this would need to be wider or the GGTS would need to be narrower. Um, you know, and, and, and aesthetics do matter. 
Um, I've got here, you know, the, the DOM uh, in mini mode. And you can see it doesn't look quite right because while this is the same diameter as this, you've got the next section there. To me, that doesn't look quite right. It works, but I would never use that combination. You know, the two different metal types as well. So, I mean, the IATI, it's, it, if you want the convenience excuse me, of a tank and a repairable atomizer, look no further. Um, that's because there aren't many of them on the market. Um, the only other comparable tank really is the RTA by Clockworks, which uh, is... It's the same. It's not the same deal at all. It's that's a, an entity to itself. It's a very special kind of atomizer. I will be reviewing it. Um, the IATI, uh, for me, it overcomplicates things a little bit with the wire and wick arrangement. Um, there will shortly be a, an IATI two, where I believe that that problem with the two types of wires. Has been eliminated completely, which is fantastic. Um, and this is, the, you know, this is Imeo's uh, first attempt at a re you know, a repairable atomizer, and it's not half bad. It's not half bad at all. Um, I'll go straight on to to doing the scores. Uh, there's not much more I can say about it really. It does what it says on the tin. Uh, it has an airy draw, um, but it works. It looks okay. If you can live with an airy draw uh, and you want the convenience of a tank, then this is a good one to go for, in my opinion. Um, so the scores, anyway. Looks-wise, I mean, I find it quite sleek. Um, it is aesthetically pleasing. I mean, the, there is a practical reason for this this hole at the bottom, and that's to help you unscrew the, the bottom section and get the atomizer section out. Um, it's not a bad looking uh, atomizer. It looks good on a number of different mods, a number of different uh, uh, styles of mod, including the cube and a few others. Um, is it the best looking mod out there? Well, no. I think the Mark T bug is better aesthetically. It's aesthetically, aesthetically more pleasing. But I do find this on a par with something like the VA2 from Bully. Um, and as such, I'm going to give this a score of 7 out of 10 for looks. For ease of use, uh, there is a, there, there's quite a big learning curve on, it, on, on this. Um, it isn't that complicated if you think about it, but um, I mean, when it first came out, plenty of people um, were struggling with it. Some people were getting the, the, the positioning of the wires the wrong way around, so they'd actually end up with a wire that had resistance wire at both ends and no resistance wire in the middle, so they were burning the plastic elements inside, which is, is not what you want. Um, while it is a toolless design, the having you know having to twist wires together for me really brings it down, um, and for that reason, I'm going to give this a four for ease of use. Flavor-wise, well, let's try again. While it's got an airy draw, there's not much wrong with the flavour. It's not the same as an A2. Um, it, it doesn't meet an A2 standards of flavour at all. However, it's better than an A1. It's better than the Mark T and the A2T. Um, so as such, for flavour, I'll give it an 8. 
which is pretty damn good. Pretty good. It's you just have to, you know, if you don't, it's the airy drawer I think that puts people off. Um, and it's the airy draw. So sometimes I do want a bit more of a hit in the throat. Uh, I mean, the throat hits there, but the extra air that goes through it, that does hamper it, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, for, for flavour, I'll give that an 8. Uh, for adaptability, well, it's a tank atomizer. You can't use your own drip tip yet. They may bring out, uh, Emil may bring out a collar where you can use an, a regular drip tip in it. It's a 5mm tank. It has the limitations of a 5mm tank. When people, you know, that seems to be two words that you put together quite strangely, really. Uh, I say limitations because you've got a 5mm tank there. If you fill it and you're vaping on it for half a day, and you get bored with the flavour. What are you going to do? You tip it out. Uh, if you've got the bottle with you, then great. You tip it back into the bottle and away you go. If you haven't got the bottle with you, then you, you, you're stuck with it a little bit, really. Um, you can't drip with this at all. I mean, well, you can. You can drip down there and, and, the, and the liquid will eventually find its way down to the atomizer. Thing is, though, that that liquid will also find its way into the airflow and leak at the bottom. So you can't really drip. Um, it's a tank atomizer. It, it, it's a cliche to say this. It does what it says on the tin. Um, doesn't pretend to do anything else either. So, you know, just complete... You know, when you, you know what you're getting, basically. Um, but for adaptability, because of that, it's kind of like the A2T and the A2TM in that, you know, it is what it is. It's not going to be anything else. Um, it could be if other adapters or whatever are brought out. So I'm going to give that an average score of 5 for adaptability. Um, for value for money... Considering how much the bully is, you'd expect to pay quite a bit for this. I think this was £70, thereabouts, um, for a 5mm repairable atomizer. That's not bad. That really isn't bad. If you think that the Mark T bug is going to go on sale for around the £90 mark, I think it's about £89.95, um, Yes, you do get, you know, you have a bit more adaptability in that there's a, the, there are a few extra bits you can drip or you can use it as a tank. Um, but that is extra cost. This will pay for itself in slightly shorter time than the Mark T. Um, I have to give this the same rating that I gave to the A2 and the A2T. Uh, an A2TM really because it's going to pay for itself in no time at all um, so I'd give that uh, a 7 out of 10 so so to surmise um, we have what 7 for looks uh, 4 for ease of use which is a shame um, 8 for flavour 5 for adaptability and 7 for value for money so for me that gives the IATI uh, an overall score of 6 out of 10 not a bad atomizer at all again I mention it again the airy draw some people are really not going to like that uh, I have a lot of people who talk to me about the draw on repairable atomizers, whether it's airy or not. This one definitely is. And worse still, there's not much you can do about it unless you've got mods that specifically allow you to control how much airflow is getting to the atomizer. Um, which is a shame, but I do still like it. It is my uh, second go-to repairable atomizer really. I generally use this in the car um, and I'll use the A2 when I'm out and about 
Um, I do use other things as well, but the, you know the, this is the kind of like this is my my second favourite really, uh, despite the airy draw. Um, but I'm waffling now. There's not a lot to say that you probably didn't already know about the IRT. It's a good solid piece of kit, good value for money. Uh, I personally would recommend it, but I would always point out the caveat of the airy draw. Um, the seventh part of this series um, is the Clear Ohm, um, which is a is a French repairable atomizer. Um, that'll be the next the next video. There'll be a couple of bits of information in that which will be a surprise to some people, not so much of a surprise to others. Um, but for now, I'm going to sign off. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Um, please feel free to leave any comments on the YouTube page or if you're at, passing by UK Vapors, you've got any questions, either post a thread or send me a private message. I'll always answer messages, um, you know, time permitting. Don't worry if I don't get back to you straight away, but I will reply. Um, take care. And keep on vaping. Bye for now.